So about nine months ago, I'm living in Atlanta, right? And my heart is beating fast because I'm in a conversation with my girlfriend at the time, right? We're on the phone and um, you can just tell by her voice that she thinks I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> She's on the phone with me and she says, Luke, let me get this straight. You are going to quit your nice sales job in Atlanta where you're making money, living in the city, in a nice neighborhood so that you can go live with your parents and work at a coffee shop. And I'm really proud. I'm, I'm really proud because I said yes. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do because I was going to take my idea of content creation seriously. Even if it meant taking this drop in status for a bit, right? Of I'm not the guy who's in sales doing really well anymore. I'm not living in Atlanta. I'm living at home with my parents. I work at a coffee shop, but I'm becoming a content creator because I have an idea of the kind of community that I want to create. I have an idea of how I want to influence the world, of how I want to change the people who are on board with my message. And I took that leap even though my parents thought it was a dumb idea. My girlfriend thought it was a dumb idea. I had people leave my life who thought that it was dumb. I was an idiot. I wasn't making the right moves. But every single person in this world who has changed the world, who has been a leader, who has lived purposefully and has had mad success, was thought to be stupid at some time. The entrepreneurs, the businessmen, the musicians, any artist, any creative endeavor, right? They're not taking the standard path of going to the career, getting, you know, a good amount of money. They have to take that drop in wealth and status to live at home with their parents, to scrape by to make ends meet so that they can pursue this thing that other people think is dumb. And they don't get any recognition for it until they have the bag in hand saying, you know what? The world thought this was valuable. But you have to take that period of looking dumb, of looking like a failure. Because honestly, the more that you can fail publicly, the more you can learn, the better you end up doing because now you have credibility, right? You're not just failing, you're failing in public. And that scares most people. It scares you because you overdetermine the consequences of failure, right? Because really think about it. You were, failed to, you were scared to put yourself out there because your brain, who hasn't evolved very much from caveman days, right? Whenever, if you did fail, if you were disliked by the community, you'd be kicked out, which meant death. Your brain still thinks that. Your body and your nervous system thinks that whenever you were disliked by people, whenever you do fail you still have that huge weight of consequence. You think this is a huge deal, but in reality, what happens if you make a YouTube video and no one watches? What happens if you make a song and it doesn't really pop off? Nothing, right? You're still in the same place that you were, if not a little bit better, because you've started to build those skills that are going to lead you to be better and better and better. You have the experience. And now think about the consequences of succeeding publicly. <laughs> They're huge, bro, right? You have the ability to make a lot of money. You have the ability to be known for something that you've done well, right? Maybe you make a song and it fucking pops off, bro. You start building this community of fans around you who love your work. Maybe you wanna be a content creator and you wanna change the world somehow. You have the ability to do that and live a life that's purposeful and see the change in the world that you want to see. But you're only going to do this if you are no longer scared to fail, if you're no longer scared to look dumb, to be hated by some people. But right now that's really hard for you because you are attaching failure to your self image, right? And the people who do this can never take off because if you look at every leader of society, every person who's made some kind of change, they think differently than most people. When they fail, they're able to do it over and over and over again because they think, I failed. 
They don't take this to this next step further where they think, I am a failure. Because when you take the facts of this thing happened and I got this consequences, but then you assign extra meaning to it, you assign the meaning of this means this certain thing about me, that's when you get into trouble. Because if you fail and think that that means you are a failure, you're never going to want to try again. You're never going to be able to have the will to go again and again and fail over and over. But that's the only way that you're going to get the success that you want. Is by turning this thing that is internal and chronic of I am a failure into something that's external and temporary. Of I did these things and it didn't get the result that I want. And people are always going to have different views of the world, right? You can look at something and say, I am a failure because I did this. And you can look at something and say, I am me and I did fail, but that doesn't make me a failure. And you're right. Both ways, you are right. Because you can look at the same set of facts, come away with two different conclusions and be right both times. Same way, like if you look at the optical illusion, right, of the, the old lady who, if you look at her a certain way, looks like a young lady or look at her a certain different way, she looks like an old lady. When you look at this picture, some people are going to think that it's the young lady. Some people are going to think it's the old, but they're both right. It's the same black lines and white spaces, but you see two different things and both people are right. You might as well adopt the mentalities and mindsets that are the most in line with reality, that are the most in line with what's going to lead you to be successful. So rather than thinking that you are a failure, making it external, thinking I did these actions and I did fail. Because that's more in line with reality. No person is a success or a failure. Full stop. Like, that's not a thing. You're just a person. You're a person who takes certain actions and those actions lead you to certain results. Because some guy who's wildly successful to you, some guy who's a billionaire who's um, got yachts and shit, like some other person would say, that's not success to me. I don't care about the wealth. I care about having a family that's close to me. They're both right. You have to align the world and your beliefs to the world that you want, right? Because the world is just a reflection of your inner state. And no positive thinking, no amount of positive thinking can overcome a shit self-image, right? You can't think positively about the world and still make progress if you think that you're shit, if you think that you are a failure. Anything that you touch and do is going to die, right? If you have that belief about yourself, it's not going to work, bro. No matter how much you try, you're going to keep failing, quote unquote, because you think that that's just who you are. To stop getting in this cycle and to start making progress, to start taking action, the action that you're afraid to take right now, to start actually doing it, you have to detach emotion and stop seeing failure as a character trait. But just as a matter of fact, because when you do this, you're going to be able to talk to the people that you want to talk to, to make the friends that you are nervous about talking to right now, to talk to the girls that you want to talk to, right? To make the moves in business that you want to make. Because if you're not willing to fail, you start to embrace death because you start getting older and older and you realize the people around you, most of them are in the same boat with you, but some of them have grabbed life by the fucking balls and they've started taking moves, making action, right? Towards the things that they want. And they're starting to see some success in it. One guy you know started becoming a content creator. One guy that you know started a business that's really helping people and is making him a lot of money. Another guy you know is doing really well in the music scene and you're like, man, those are things that I wanted to do and now I'm feeling bad because I'm in the same place I was. And honestly, I kind of started in the same place as them, but they actually took action. They weren't afraid to fail. And because of that, they're seeing the rewards that I want. And this is how you start to slowly embrace death, brother, is by not living the purposeful, fulfilling life that you genuinely want to be a part of. But when you do embrace failure and detach it from emotion, right? And you start taking these actions. You become that guy. You become the guy who is making moves, who is earning the rewards of credibility, of putting yourself out there 
doing things and putting your name on them. Because fortune favors the bold. So take the bold actions. If you don't already know me, my name is Luke Grenoble. I'm helping a group, a gang of young men, become the best versions of themselves and grab life by the fucking balls. If that sounds like something you want to be a part of, hit subscribe right now. You're also going to get more content like this on your homepage. So it's a win-win. Act now, brother, and become unstoppable.